Hi, LK Home fam. My name is Latahana Lakumala of LK Home and LK Home DIY on Instagram. If you are into home deco DIY content or just home deco content in general, please head over to my Instagram page. My handle is at LK Home DIY and follow me there. But also, please make sure that you are subscribed as well if you're into this content. <sighs> okay, so. This intro might be a little bit long because you guys are the MVP and I really have to just like, I just have to say this. I have to say thank you to every single one of you watching this video. Uh, because of you guys and how far we've come, RK Home was featured in a YouTube ad. Uh, that's being flighted on billboards, on, on, dig on the digital billboards. I had two people tell me um, in my DMs that, hey, I saw you on a billboard. I was like, oh my gosh, and I had forgotten. And I was like, wait, and then I tried, I, I tried hunting for this billboard, and yeah, I know, it just didn't happen. And coincidentally, I was in the drive-thru, and I saw it in my review mirror, and I was on the phone with Matilda, and I completely just lost it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm on a billboard! <laughs> yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of, like, you know the reaction that I had, yeah. But that's just me, guys. That's just how I am. Like, I am dramatic with the capital draw. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. And also, another thing that I'm so thankful for is that we are over 8,000 subscribers strong. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's free. <laughs> so you can just keep up with the home deco DIY content that I create. And really that shows because the number of people that have, that subscribe to my channel has gone down from 70% to 50%. So 50% of y'all that are watching my videos are not yet subscribed. Can I ask you why I haven't just subscribed yet? It's that simple. It's free, please. <laughs> but anyway, moving right along. Today's video is a collaboration between myself and yours in drilling your fave DIY queen, DIY your landy. Yes, girl. Hashtag power tools have no gender. Love it. I recreated one of her previous projects and she did the same. So after watching this video, please head over to her channel, which I will also link in the description box down below to see which one of my projects she recreated. I ended up creating two hula hoop stands, one that I'm using as a stand in my bathroom and the other that I hung as a shelf. So if you'd like to see how I recreated DIY Yolandi's hula hoop stand. Stay tuned. So you can hit the pause button to just take a screenshot of the materials that are required depending whether you're making the shelf or the stand. So I'm gonna first start off with attaching my pilot driver into my cordless drill and then just mark the areas where I am going to be putting the pine woods on the hula hoop. Then I go ahead and drill the pilot holes through the hoop into the wood. After that I just go ahead drill the nail through the hoop into the wood. So for the first set of holes and drilling I just changed between my pilot driver and my start tip driver just drilling the pallet hole and then screwing in because it was just a bit easier to navigate this way. After Attaching the second piece of wood, I just went ahead and flipped over the hula hoop and attaching the second hula hoop. This time I tried to use masking tape to secure the hoop onto the wood, but the wood didn't really want to take with the tape.
this however made it a tad bit easier in terms of drilling all the pallet holes at once instead of changing between the pallet holes and the nails. Now for the second hula hoop, to say that I struggled was a complete <laughs> understatement because when I checked it with my spirit level, it wasn't straight so I had to take it apart and try and figure out exactly where should I be drilling into and I don't know how many times I had to do this but it was so exhausting but at the, in the end it worked out <laughs> as best as it could. By using a spirit level, I've just placed this and then I'm going to drill holes into there. The one that I was going to use as a shelf, I decided to stain the wood and I went for a really dark stain and I actually liked the way that it complemented the black. It was quite masculine and exactly what I had envisioned. For the stand, I decided to use black acrylic paints to paint over the wood and it was what I had in my supplies but it I love the fact that it when it dries it goes matte which is totally my vibe as you can see at this point it had gotten pretty dark but I used my black spray paint with a matte finish to paint the frame. After 24 hours, I then went ahead and marked the area where I was going to hang my D-rings so I can hang it onto the wall. I used these nails to attach the D-rings. This is my 2mm pilot driver. After attaching the impact driver head to the drill, I then went ahead and inserted my pilot driver and drilled my pilot holes for my D-rings and then just changed over to my screwdriver and then attached the D-rings. Now I'm measuring the distance between the centers of the D-rings to know how far apart I should drill my nail and anchor screws into the wall and as you see over here I did struggle a little bit because I actually ended up realizing that there is a live wire in the area that I initially had chosen to drill into so I ended up having to move my frame a little bit to the left where it was safe to drill. So this is my set of brick drill bits that I use to drill into the wall and I use the 4mm bit. And as you would have had it, I ended up having a live wire behind that section. So with my spirit level placed on top of my shelf, I just then 
made sure that my shelf was straight and marked the areas where I'm supposed to drill into after finding the suitable area. And here I tested out the straightness of my shelf with my spirit level to only realize that it is not straight as you can see my frustration over here and basically had to repeat the process with lifting the one side of the shelf. And now for the styling of the shelf. So books and candles are often the easy choice, but you can also customize it to your own personal taste with the kind of things that you like. So this particular person has a camera and is into photography and also travels a lot. So I just took a few things around the house from the camera to a bracelet that he got on one of his travels and then I also put a rouge diffuser. So a lot of this process now involves playing around with whatever it is that you have around your home and then standing back and giving your shelf uh, one last look and figuring out what is it that you want to move and what is it that you can add or take away and just how it looks aesthetically. Now here I am back at my place and I'm just going to show you how you can use it for the outdoor and the indoors and also to take note if you're going to put it outdoors make sure that you weather guard it by using appropriate paint and that sort of stuff. I also wanted to try using it in the house and the only place that I could come up with was my bathroom and one it can be decorative but it can also be functional so decorative in the sense that it can hold like your vase and plants so I really hope you enjoyed that video and I would also like to give a shout out to two people. Um, I was talking to my aunt the one day and she told me that she watches my videos. So Makadi, if you're watching this, I absolutely love you. Thank you. <laughs> also, I'd also really like to thank um, this particular human being that let me drill uh, and hang this shelf um, onto their wall. Thank you. I appreciate it. Up until the next video. <laughs>